Hey, what is going on, Twitch? We are back here at Spot Hidden, where we are playing Octoon Cthulhu. Tonight is going to be a very fun episode with a lot of role-playing involved, so let me go ahead and bring in the role-players themselves, the agents of KP. Welcome, Carly, Matt, and Trevor. Hello, as I'm accidentally messing with my lights and blinding Matt. <laughs> oh, is that what that was? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be back. Uh back in Octoon. We haven't been gone, but it's still good to be here. Well oh, yeah. back after a week. Yeah. Yeah, last um, time uh the audience saw us, we were playing a homebrewed Friday the thirteenth game just in cele celebratory for our one year anniversary, so Yeah. Trevor, that's a, a nice cowboy hat you got on. Very nice. Yeah. Well well thank you there. That that's uh yeah. You got the know. cowboy hat. And I it comes with an accent. Very nice. And my name ain't Stone Hayes. I got this hat here that makes me a cowboy hat. I got bored. So. <laughs> hat now. Mix it up. Well, yeah. uh, we're all here, so should we go ahead and get started? Let's do it. I'm ready. Uh, we, I just saw the name of the episode. <clears throat> yeah, I got a treat for you all tonight. So uh, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? <laughs> I wonder who it's going to. <laughs> The camera opens up. It's a dark night in northern England. The camera pulls up into a small cottage on top of a nice grassy hill. This grassy hill contains this lone cottage and next to it a lone tree. Inside this cottage is an old lady knitting, sitting by her fire, listening to the, the crickets outside. The fire begins to die out, so the old lady gets up, puts another log on the fire, stirs it up just to get that fire going again. She hears something at the front door, and she goes to open the door, but before she can, the door is knocked down. The fire is completely wiped out. The room is completely silent and dark as a large shadowy figure enters this room. This shadowy figure is holding a large golden triton. As the triton comes down and pins this old lady to the ground, the old lady spins and parries this blow from the triton and throws herself up on top of the roof, showing her true nature, an old hag, an old hag that had been living there for centuries. After a brief quarrel between these two figures, the hag is knocked down to the floor and this shadowy figure brings himself on top. Now, you're going to tell me where the sword is. I don't know what you speak of. I have no sword. Listen, if you want to live, you'll tell me where the sword is. Because you don't control it. Remember? Anyone who has the blood of Pendragon controls the sword. Well, whatever you speak of, it looks like you're... Out of this possession of Pendragon blood. Oh. Is that so? Mick! And another large shadowy figure comes in, holding a smaller male presence. As he pushes this male figure down to the ground, what you can tell is this male figure has a kilt on. Part of his uniform has been torn to pieces. He has a hood over his head. As the hood is snatched off, the camera reveals that it is our very own Captain Pendragon. Bloodied in the face, scarred. Well, it looks like it's my lucky day, because I do have the blood of Pendragon. So, witch, you tell me, where is the sword? And as the triton begins to 
grind its nails into the witch's body. The camera begins to pan out of the room, pan out of the window of the cottage as you hear this hag scream for her life. As the camera pans out and continues to go outside of the cottage, it takes a sharp right, turning to this lone tree on this hill. In the background, miles off, you see the coastline and a small village on fire, probably done by the Legion of the Black Dragon. But this lone tree that the camera is fixed on has objects hanging from it. These objects are bones. Blackout. We go to the title screen of Octung. We come back with our camera focused on a hallway. This is the hallway of the headquarters of the agents of KP. As we see our three favorite agents walking down the hallway, heading towards what used to be Captain Wesley Pendragon's office. As they are walking down this hallway, can all three of you give me a spot hidden roll, please? Uh, Huddy, I'd like I to just... trade out the spot hidden for a navigate roll to the uh, tree with the bones. I just, I just connected the tree with the bones, and that's why I flailed a little bit. Yes, there's. I said that's so good. <laughs> oh, I didn't level up after the last one. Have we leveled up yet? Forty-five, uh... eighty-one success, though. Uh, yeah, we, we can do that in just a second. Let's, uh, no, do you're this. good. I can do that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. not yeah. worrying about um, it. Oh, Mama. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mama. Hey, oh, welcome, Mama. Mama. Yeah, she, she's my favorite Mama. Oh. <laughs> you can tell you're Southern when you call your grandmother Mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I just rolled an, a hard success on Navigate. Does that mean I find the tree? Yeah, oh, you my are, God. Once again, uh, nowhere near the tree. Um. You, you're inside the headquarters of Agents of KP, and you're walking down the hallway heading towards uh, Captain Win <laughs> Captain Wesley Pendragon's Winston. office. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, I did succeed on the spot. I didn't just like my friends here. Awesome. While you describe that, I'm going to do my rolls very quickly, so y'all just ignore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Trevor also, did you get a... Yeah, okay. Uh, cool. What is going on? Oh, okay. I see That's me, going. sorry. All right, cool. Um, so, as you are all walking down this hallway, you do notice uh, three troops. These are English royal guards uh, in front of Captain Wesley Pendragon's office. There's stand two guarding the door to his office. And what do we know as... Uh... Where we've come from, did we just arrive? You just arrived uh, hours ago, um, and you you were recently, uh, a couple of days before this, in France with the invasion of Normandy, and after you took uh, care of the Ditoten in that small village, you've been escorted back to England um, in hopes that you can help search for Captain Wesley Pendragon. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm just going to walk in his office just past the guards uh stop right there who are you anushka dragomir let me pass what is all uh pen dragon scared i'm gonna kick his ass at the last one um can you give me a uh credit or social standing please anushka oh god can i do oh god credit rating or or charm or uh can I do intimidate? Appearance or appearance. Oh, okay. Or intimidate, I'll do, yeah. I'll do appearance. 4650 success. If I had done anything else, I would have failed because my highest is a 45. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. And let's say you hand um, this guard your ID. Um, you may have like a badge or something probably. I don't know. <laughs> you Anushka. You're the no. three agents, correct? That's correct. Excellent. I'm going to open this door and you'll go inside and sit at the three front desk. Do you understand? Sure. Do you have any weapons on you? Obviously. Well, uh, yeah. I start like, start, like emptying my pack and stuff. <laughs> it's like, like here. 
<laughs> like when the when I someone's like, "Oh uh, yeah, remove all your knives," and it's yeah. just <laughs> or it's like that, that scene in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End when Elizabeth yeah. just keeps pulling out stuff and she's just wearing like a small like skirt. <laughs> um, I'm really right. close to the roll twenty. That's awkward. <laughs> Do you understand? Sorry, we didn't realize it was a big deal. The guard looks at you and says, "Do you understand?" No. You will, not, you will not say anything until spoken to. You will not get up until they get up. Do you understand? Can you just let this in? Our captain is missing. We need to get in there. And the this guard the uh, opens the door, allowing you in. You all three go in. Uh, you notice that uh, Captain Tr uh, Pendragon's um, large leather chair has been turned, and you are seeing the back of it. Um, you do notice that there is some sort of figure in this chair uh, who has not revealed themselves yet. But you all three do take a seat at these uh, front three desks in the um, the room facing Pendragon's main desk. As you sit there, as the door closes, there are two other guards in this flanking the large main desk. You see the leather couch turn, or not a couch, but leather desk chair turn. And you will recognize this young royal woman as Queen Elizabeth II. Oh, God, she was alive then, wasn't she? Yes. Oh, Hello. God. Hello, darlings. I assume you know who I am. Uh, not a fucking clue. Bro, she's the queen. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> queen of what? The the fucking base? What are we? Of England, you idiot. And like, I like hit his shoulder. Dummy. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. O'Connor. It is O'Connor, correct? Yes, ma'am. I am the queen of England. Elizabeth II. You three are gathered here because you're friend and captain Pendragon is missing but the truth is he's been kidnapped by the legion of the black dragon how much do you know of your captain Wesley Pendragon where's the kilt um, I called him a skirt one time <laughs> He's not very open with his personal life. He has a wife. We know that he comes from deep in dragons. And we know about the history of our organization, but not much about him. He knows his history. He's not a good fighter. Yes, so I've heard. A very good Dragomir. Okay, so uh, Dragomir and Pinky are the type to, 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 to fall for this because I consider them a little bit more gullible than I. So where exactly is he? Because he's got us on this one, I gotta admit. Your captain has been kidnapped by the Legion of the Black Dragon. The Legion, their commander, Victor Gwain, he believes that your captain has... An artifact. An artifact that could, well, do a lot of damage to the Allied forces. If I'm being honest, he probably has quite a few. Sir Victor Gwain has quite a few, if I may say. He has the Triton of Atlantis and many others. He has an army of dead people, and other curious things that we will get to later. But the reason I'm calling you here is you are top agents in the Allied forces, and you all three are good with keeping secrets. Well, uh, so, quite frankly, we, we are the secrets, but... Yes. 
And so what I am going to tell you will stay in this room. And if it does not, well, you will be terminated. This painting behind me is of Blasius of the Black Killin Hills. He was a Celtic warrior thrown out of his home. He went around the world becoming a mercenary warrior and came back to England to take back his home. But the story goes that he was not able to take it back. He was killed by a monster named Yig. But he did have a son named Uther, and Uther had Arthur, and from then on you had the Pendragon line. Briseis in this painting is holding the artifact that I was speaking of. This art artifact is named Excalibur, and Sir Victor Gwaine believes that King Pendragon has it. I'm sorry, what did you call him? The Pendragon line is the actual royal line. After All Yig right. and after many other occasions, we decided that there needed to be a cover-up, a sort of dummy, if you would, in the space that, that was the royal family. Your captain is the one who is actually in charge of England. I am just... Oh! You're the wife! This uh, is the per- No. Oh. That, no. That's Wait. not the wife. No, I, I am She's just... literally the Queen of England. That is Elizabeth. Yeah, and yes, and I, king, I, so I am the Queen of England, no, but I am the just a decoy. Head. Yes. I am, I am a decoy. Your real leader and commander of England is your very own Captain Wesley Pendragon. <laughs> he almost died so many times. <laughs> By his own incompetence, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, the king does. Uh, your captain does have his way of things. But when he commands us to do those things, uh, we must uh, abide by those rules. But we know for fact that he has been stolen and kidnapped by the Legion of the Black Dragon. Where they is he took being him. Held? I'm sorry, sorry, Dragonman. I did not mean to interrupt. I was asking where he was being held. Yes. Uh, his ship that he was boarded heading towards Normandy, where you all were, uh, was attacked and sunk by a German submarine. We found what was left of the crew, and we found a crew member who's still alive, and he said that he saw them take Pendragon, take him on board the submarine. About a couple of hours ago, we did hear news in northern England that there had been a sacking in a village. It seems as though this sub has landed off the coast of northern England, and the troops inside have headed towards inland in search for this artifact. Would they have the captain? We believe so. Him alive. He's not dead. If they need the artifact, they need him, so he's still... All right. And I stand up. And uh, the queen also stands up. So, obviously, all right, we're going to save his ass, but England's not a democracy. Is that what we're saying? No. Okay. Huh. The helmet. He had a helmet. Ah. Yes, you, you speak of the helmet of Alexander the Great. That is correct. Where is it at? I believe it's somewhere in the warehouse here. Would you need it for some reason? No, I'm just making sure they did not get their hands you on it. You put it in a warehouse? I yeah, you know where I took you to the warehouse before. You know where it is. All right, we just... I do, but... All right. Is, 
Warehouse is just so the connotation of it is just kind of negative. I'm sorry, right. I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> Where at in Northern England is this land? Uh, we believe uh, a few miles uh, from what used to be known as. Well, actually, no, it wouldn't have been Topper. Uh, Topper was uh, east Inland. of here. I was trying to remember where Topper London had put that. Um, Topper was in, um, <coughs> it was near Bristol ish. Right. Close to Wales, almost. Yeah. Um, okay. Back into it. Um, Sorry. No, you're good. Um, it's in northern England, uh, close to the border of Scotland. All so, right. I'm assuming we already have transportation arranged. Yes. There's a jeep outside. You will not have any other guide with you, but you'll just need to head towards north. We do not need one. And I start walking out of the room. <coughs> Wait, drag me uh, provisions. I'm going to start following her. We need to go. Uh, drag me. Before we go. Whatever happens, happens. But we must make sure that Sir Victor Gwain does not get a hold of this artifact. Do you understand? I understand. And Mr. Hayes, for you... Yeah. I suggest that you... wear a hood under your certain conditions. Well, I'm well adjusted. Chin up, Miss Queen Lady. We'll get it done. That's all right. You just can call me Elizabeth, Mr. Hayes. Fantastic. That's just weird. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Lizzie. He's got a That's right. You just call me Lizzie, Mr. Hayes. <laughs> just call me Lizzie. <laughs> yeah, what happens if I did that? If I had made Queen Elizabeth just immediately turn into Cockney when she oh, revealed herself like she as actually Like she dismisses her guards? Yeah. All, She's like, like all, all right, get out. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> I'm not really queen, all right? You see... <laughs> Captain Wesley Punjagans, he he's the real queen or king, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> no, no, you had it right the first time. Queen, yeah, he wears a kilt, you know. So what? <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um, I assume the chat understands that I really enjoyed Cockney Day in uh, BFA performance. So, <laughs> and that's Cockney. I don't want to get that clipped, you know. C o c k n e y. Thank you. Clip it, edit uh, it out. Just take that a little bit out. Hudson enjoys cock day. I'm so glad your mom is <laughs> here right now, Hudson. So glad. All right, so. <laughs> oh, dear God. Oh, no. Mama. Hey, you said what? <laughs> uh, yeah, Mama was alive during uh, Cle Queen Elizabeth's era. What a good queen. Queen Elizabeth still is alive, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I mean, yeah but, uh -huh. you know. Okay, so, uh, yeah, um, the queen dismisses you. You're uh, allowed back outside the store. Um, there's a jeep waiting outside. And it is uh, up to you now. Oh, now, hold up. Got, uh, we're... Provisions, we gotta get prepared. Now, where exactly we're going? We're going just north? I don't know. The jeep knows where we're going. We're going oh. near Scotland. It's north of here. What was what was that about a submarine? We gotta go on a submarine. No, they they brought him there on a submarine, which means right. it's coastal, where they are. So. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna start going through like my pack, my things, and probably visit my laboratory real quick, because I have a laboratory in this base, just so everyone knows. Okay. I've established myself. Hudson, just so you know, he has a laboratory in this. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, perfect. has, uh, I'm perfectly fine with you adding stuff in, the in this facility. <laughs> Stone would like to find someone who might uh, oversee supply and uh, uh, the armory. Okay. So you're going to the armory. Pinky is going to the lab. Anushka, what will you be doing? Um, I guess I will also go to the armory. Okay. So Stonehaze and Anushka and are going to the armory. The and whole time. <laughs> Pinky is going to the lab. Pinky, we're going to follow you first. You're entering uh, the staircase as you uh, descend down the stairs of the agents of KPHQ. You find yourself at the final door in the basement of this place. You open it up, and as you open it up, the lights uh, illuminate out of nowhere this uh, lab 
it's not a large lab, it's not a small lab, it's on the medium scale. Um, but this is your lab that you have uh, taken things down there and worked, uh, workshopped on. And uh, what are you doing down here? Are you looking for something specific? Uh, I'm mostly just sort of resupplying. Um, okay. it, it's sort of like my own personal armory. Okay. Because uh, uh, I, I, I've been doing a lot of testing with Attila's bow just to sort of figure out what its limitations are, um, you know, and just like delicately trying to figure out sort of, you know, how Attila's bow works. Um, so I do have a lot of bolts. So I'm going to go ahead and reload up the bolts. Um, also, you see, when you walk in, you see on the far right, right above a workbench, you see this, this flamethrower, this German flamethrower <laughs> that's uh, sitting over a saw. Well, yep, yeah. time to get back at it, old girl. <laughs> Pick up the flamethrower, put that on, uh, start loading up like anything that I could carry. Uh, just, you know. <laughs> I don't know what image you just pulled up on the back. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, Sorry, I meant to put that up earlier, but that was the image of the sacking of the village. Oh, okay, cool. Sorry. Uh, just, we are uh, seeing an intense image of a village being burned by a uh, Nazi uh, dressed soldier types. Yeah, but in our case, it'd be the Legion of the Black Dragon, the mercenary units that hold... German, American, British, Japanese, um, troops of all kind from around the world. Pinky, continue what you were saying. Um, Keeper, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Since it's been a couple years since I've had this flamethrower, could mm -hmm. I make modifications to it? Uh, I'll, I'll oh allow. It. Yeah, yeah, I'll allow. <laughs> yeah, just over the over the years, as I've been here, you know, just sort of tinkering with um, how far it can shoot and maybe some more damage, a little damage increase. It rolls at a two d six right now at thirty yards. Um, I will say that you can do a two d six plus three, and it can go to sixty yards now. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. And then possessions. Uh, I'm bringing some TNT, just like a little handful of TNT. You never know when you're going to need TNT. I've got flashlights, just sort of going through my tools, grab some rope, tripwire, stuff to make like, you know, um, like traps and bombs if I need to. Bongs. Hey, hey party. I mean, traps. Just it's been used as a weapon before in this like show bombs and stuff and yeah, still uh, got him killed though and a couple of uh grenades cool grenades. and just you know the usual like tool set and stuff i want to make sure that i'm fully reloaded and decked out before we leave so. okay and you have the uh bow also i also i have the bow the flame uh the flammen buffer okay flame buffer. let's let's say you're back at full um arrow capacity for attila's bow uh 20 20 arrows? Okay. Bolts. Okay. Yeah. Uh, flamethrower and then uh, like the small M1 carbine. Okay. Cool. All as right. Heavy as all this? <laughs> what? <laughs> and no, so. The M1 carbine is not as heavy as the other uh, guns yeah. at that time. You know, it was, it was made for paratroopers. Um, Huddy, I would like to give Stone a minigun. Uh, I'm also going to multiply the damage by two. So it's going to do about. Uh, twenty D ten, if that's okay. A mini gun? Stone Haze uh, is being kicked from this game. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> yeah, OP. Game, All right, everyone. so as uh, Pinky, you finish down at the lab. You um, finish and turn off the lights as you ascend the staircase back up. The camera cuts to Stone Haze and Anushka, who are just entering the armory room. Um, there's lockers. Uh, there are a lot of cartridge boxes, and there's a lot of crates with many different types of weapons in it. Um, also, on the, the walls, you do have uh, knights, uh, coats of armor and stuff, um, other kind of swords and other historical, hi historical paraphernalia riddled on the wall. What are you guys looking for? I'm grabbing a couple more knives, because <laughs> I always keep one knife. Um, but I'm grabbing a couple more just in case, and I'm, like, sticking them in my boot and, like, trying to hide them around. Um, and then I want to get a shotgun. Okay. Of some sort. Just the first one she sees, she's going to grab. Okay. 
Um, all right, Matt, what are you doing? I'm going to look up shotgun real quick. Okay, I did you, find Carly? a trench gun. It, M1897. Yeah. I could... I just randomly picked one. Yep. They all do the same thing. I yep. just searched World War II shotguns. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so if you, if you want to add the trench gun, off, yeah, but, trench gun's okay. good. <laughs> cool, uh, thanks. I think trench gun's actually a very expensive shotgun. To oh, buy. never mind then. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, I mean, well, I mean I'm talking about it in real life. I'm talking about it in real yeah. life. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, okay. it'd probably be, it'd be, probably be some, some similar to the Ithaca that Stone carries around. Um, so what would be more easily acquired uh, in this room? A grenade or a, a stick of dynamite? Probably a grenade. Okay, gotcha. Well, we'll grab a couple of those, if that's alright. And depending on what you say, Keeper, uh, he'll double up with another handgun. He's going to be looking for something to duplicate the 350, 357 revolver he carries. If not, he just uh, grabbed the next best thing. Okay. Um, let me look real quick. Can I get a whip that's like made of chain and it has like a glowy thing that when it gets near an evil person, it starts glowing and just like explodes them. I've one. been watching Castlevania. <laughs> I couldn't tell. <laughs> that's what I want is the, what did they call it, Matt? The Morning Star? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so... And lots of ammo. We're getting, you know, enough well, this ammo. Been a obviously. No, but just for the dramatics, we're stocking up because we're <laughs> going into... It's a montage! More. <laughs> Push it to the limit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, we're going to go with that. So a couple of... So do we want to duplicate the 357 or... Uh, uh, no, I was going to give you... I was going to give you a different one. Okay, I hear you. Um, we were in England, so you should have a English revolver if I can find a... Oh. If I can find the one I'm looking for. Remember, we got we got a little bit of everything from everywhere here. The Russian ones are better. Uh, that's because none of y'all tried none, none of this American hardware here. Um... <laughs> hmm. Yeah, the explosives are all as. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So, got for me? Uh, handguns. Yes, the Webley revolver. Yeah. Say thirty-eight, two d six plus one. That's good. It's Minus actually d ten. <laughs> It's a revolver I would love to own one day. Uh, it's the one that Tommy Shelby uses in uh, Peaky Blinders. Um, or um, I think Rick O'Connell uses it in the first Mummy. He has um, oh, right. ah, yeah. okay. dual yeah, yeah. That's all you gotta say. I'm just <laughs> not a fan of the design. I don't know why. Um, really? Yeah, it's, there's just something about it that's off-putting. It's like the uh, Mauser pistol. It just... Oh, okay. Something seems off. Anyway. The um, Mauser looks like a weird version of Han Solo's gun. Um, the Mauser... It is. is it is. It oh, is. it is? Yeah. yeah. I was okay. about to say. Yeah, okay. they, they I was gonna say, it pulled it apart. It so much like Han Solo's gun. Cool. Yeah. Because I had to think for a second. I was like, is that the one? Yeah. Technically speaking, <laughs> look, at look at the Star Wars timeline. The Mauser copied Han Solo. No, I'm kidding. All right. Uh, that's all I needed. Long time ago. As long as I got... Um, a uh, couple of explosives there, and we're good to go. All right, Hans cool. gun came first. So, um, yeah. All right, so y'all finish up in the armory, and you all uh, reconvene outside next to this um, green army jeep. This is an American jeep. Um, yeah. And as you stand there, the Queen of England and the four um, royal guards uh, ascend the staircase that is heading out. Um, outside in the front courtyard um, where this jeep is and uh, the queen says if you need any assistance really the only thing I can tell you at this moment is just to look for a large pillar of smoke pillar of smoke if you see that that will lead you to your destination 
Let us just hope they are still there. Well. Thank you, Miss Queen. Yes, it's Lizzie to you, Pinky. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I learn anger. <laughs> uh, the Queen says, uh, Charles yes, Queen. well, uh, good day and Godspeed to all of you. And uh, you see her walk off and get in a very nice, luxurious car with these guards and drive off. Hey, Stone. What? Stone, could you hold some stuff for me? I, I, I think I brought a little bit too much. And I start handing them, like, some TNT sticks. Uh, can't we just put it in the car? Well... Yeah, but how are we going to carry you after we get out of the car? I'm putting it in the car. Well, yeah, but in the car, but in your stuff is what I'm saying. You just don't want to leave this stuff out and about. Can we please go and rescue our captain It'll now? And I'm right like here. hanging out of the Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Get behind driving, the wheel, Pinky. Am I driving or do we have a driver? You are the driver. I am the driver. Actually, Hudson, that's a good point. We had transportation arranged. Do we know where we're going? All we were told was near Scotland. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, you've been told that it's in the border of Scotland and northern England. And we know um, it'll and, be near the coast. Yeah, so. and the queen said just look for a large pillar of smoke. Cool. Cool, so since this is England, it'll take, like, what, 45 minutes? Yeah, Before pretty later. much. If we're in London... Oh, there's no traffic like there is now. So honestly, like an hour and a half, two hours, maybe. Because England is small. What's going on, Swift Dog and Mama? How are y'all today? (laughs) Thank you for joining us. All right. Okay, well, punch it and we'll uh, we'll look for a pillar of smoke. Yep. All right, here we go. All right, um, and so you hit traffic with that uh, 93 versus 50 failure. Um, it's not until like an hour or two later until you're able to get out of England. So it's already about 4 or 5 o'clock England time, 4 or 5 p.m. to be exact. Wait, where's um, the horn on a Jeep? Huh? Where's the horn on the Jeep? Is it a foot horn? Is it like a... This is important information. For I think me. it's uh, I think it'd been a squeeze, wouldn't it? Not? Wouldn't it have been a squeeze? One, no, uh, on. we're classier than that. Oh, no, okay, this is very important to the game to know in the game. It I is. Uh, keep 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 going. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it. Okay, so um, as you do get out of town or out of the city, you are in the English countryside, and after. Uh, an hour or so, um, you do begin to uh, see a pillar of smoke in the horizon. I think we have found it. Yeah, that's probably it. Let's be stealth. Punch a pinky. <laughs> We go in. We zoom in. Oh, do we I have to roll keep for it? it? Do you want me to roll for it again? Sorry, I was uh, having to <clears throat> do some PR. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, don't don't you forget that Swift dog. Uh, and <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so you're punching it as you um, arrive. Uh, yeah, there we go. Shout out to Gear Gaming and Opelika. Um, we're not sponsored by them, not yet. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we, uh, you get to, uh, the coastline and this coastline village that has been, uh, burnt to a crisp. As you arrive, um, the smoke is still, uh, billowing out. There's no fire trucks here to, uh, you know, take out the fire that, that was there. Um, there doesn't seem to be any sign of life. I'm just running in. Okay. Um, are you looking for anything? Um, 
anything that's not completely destroyed, any footprints that might be, you know, the boots that we are fairly familiar with at this point, I feel like. Now, boot tracks. what would they have to do with the town if they've already captured our guy? Perhaps they think he is hiding it here. Um, can you give me a listen roll, please, everyone? Sure can. Sorry, I just, like, sniffed. Oh, 73, 74 success. Okay. Just barely. 81, 55. Failure. I feel like I should point out. Doing my best. I'm not listening. I'm trying to figure out where the porn is on the Jeep. <laughs> yeah, you heard it too, Carlos. <laughs> cool. All right, so yeah. um, as you're all discussing this, uh, you do hear this in the distance. running okay Jamie, that 73 going? versus 74 um anushka you know you heard it but can you give me a spot hidden roll to find where this coughing is coming from extreme success seven versus 85 because i love so my spot hidden after again. a couple of seconds of running and looking in the rubble of each of these houses uh you do find a uh an older man uh, laid up against uh, a brick, um, what was a brick wall for a house, um, what's left of it, he, he's laying up against it, has a couple of uh, bayonet wounds in his chest, bleeding out from it, uh, sitting there coughing up like, blood. I'm going to like try to stop the bleeding and um, just say, what happened? Uh, they came in the night. They came. <coughs> they came in a submarine. Did they have a man with him, with them, with in a kilt? Uh, there were many men. I don't remember if I saw anybody in a kilt. What? What all do you remember? I'm sorry, we are... We need to figure out what happened here. We need to help as best we can to keep this from happening anywhere else. They came at night by the sea. We've never seen anything here like this. They... They attacked us. Sacked the village and killed every man, woman, child here. Yes, I'm the lucky one. <laughs> have we walked up by now? Uh, yes, I, I, I assume that you were all with Anushka. Well, friend, you look like shit. Thank you. You don't look bad yourself. Uh, stone, by sea. Stone. Um, and I, I'm gonna reach back in the stone where I placed a first aid kit on one of his side pockets, and like reach out first aid kit and do my best. Okay. Uh, my best was a hard success. All right, excellent. Yeah, you're able to stop the bleeding for this guy. Cool. Um, and he seems to liven up a little bit. Um. And after uh, a couple of minutes, you are able to give him some water from your canteen. And as he drinks that water... Uh, thank you. You're going to be okay, but um, we can't get you out right now. We have other matters to attend to. I, I understand. You have means of transportation more than anything. I... This is my home. I will stay here. Well, more importantly, we may not have a means to get you out. But what we're doing here, well, let's just say our objective is to hunt the bastard that did it. Which, if I were in your shoes, must sound like the second best thing. Look. Do you see that? 
over there on that grassy, grassy hill in the distance. And he points off behind you, and you turn. And can everybody give me a spot hit and roll, please? Success. <laughs> Critical success. One versus 85. Dragomir fucking sees it. I see. <laughs> what do your elf eyes see, Dragomir? <laughs> Pinky, uh... <laughs> Pinky, uh... You are still bandaging this guy up. Let's say that's taking uh, a little while to do. You're just making sure he's still okay, but, um... Stonehaze and Anushka, you do see off in the distance uh, a couple of miles from here. Off uh, on this tree line, this tree line rises up, and there's a, a nice grassy kind of hill. Um, and on top of that hill, you see a large, bright glow. And you can assume that this is a, a fire of some sort, because you see a large smokestack rising from it. What are you guys looking at? The house in the tree. Where the guy just pointed, Pinky. Do you not see? It's pretty far off. Sorry. Uh, I can make out, like, bugs crawling on the tree. <laughs> Sorry, I think I got some dirt okay. in my eyes. All right. Well, where we're going? unless you have anything else for us, friend, we need to get a move on. Uh, thank you. Thank you, friends, uh, for helping me. I will be okay here. As I try to clean up what is left of this village. All right. Thank you. We'll wish us luck. And uh, you see him kind of try to get up. You see him kind of stumble, but sit himself up on what was left of that wall. Um, and you see him kind of walking or stumbling away. Um, you see him vanish inside of what's left of what his house used to be. I am running up the hill. Um, if, you, if you run it. or walk it, it's going to take uh, maybe an hour. Oh. Uh, I get in the Jeep. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never mind, then. I'm say, getting back yeah. in the Jeep. I thought it was like here. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, yeah. it's it's a couple of miles like, away okay, off in yeah, the no, distance. No, I'm getting in the Jeep, then. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I run dramatically and jump deep. How about that? Yeah, yeah that's fine. Just edit that. Remember. Doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I get a, another drive auto, please? Do my best. Pinky, pinky, pinky. Um, the Jeep uh, stalls on you. <laughs> Fucking God damn it! I knew that wasn't the horn. <laughs> It's right. weirdly familiar. It's like deja vu this happened. Uh, anyway. Hold on. hold on. Let me uh let me look at it real quick. They always these freaking British touching American stuff. I'm gonna lift the hood, pop the hood up, and um well mechanical repair. Alright, okay. cool. Yep, and with that hard success, you're able to figure out what happened. Um one of the light bulbs uh was plugged in to <laughs> The radiator. I, I don't know. That's uh, a good one. He <laughs> tries to know how cars work. <laughs> that's, that, so, that's a common problem. And uh, mine came undone. Okay. Okay. All right. Mine, mine came undone. All right. Perfect. And so you fix it, and you jump back in. You crank it up. That that Jeep starts a uh, room, you know, and uh, you take off towards this uh, grassy knoll that's on top of this foresty uh, hill. As you uh, get to the road, you pull off to the side and exit the vehicle as you begin your climb up through this small forest that leads to the top of this hill. As you're climbing it, you do hear uh, birds chirping. You do hear crows, a large amount of crows crowing above you. You could sense there's some sort of dead thing at the top. As you uh, ascend this hill, as you get closer, if you go onto the roll 20 sheet, I will show you the map that you're looking at. I'm so terrified. Uh, the place has been burned to a crisp. Um, what was left of this small house is no longer there. 
If you want to give me a spot hidden roll or a listen roll, I can give you more information. Can you ping where we roll up in? Uh, yes, you roll up in the uh, down right corner. Uh, hard success for listen on some spot. Okay. I got a spot hidden 84, 85. Excellent. Um, so as you're all standing there, uh, Stone Haze, you hear uh, kind of a small whimper. And Anushka is able to track down that whimper, and right out on the front doorstep, or what used to be the doorstep of this house, is, once again, if you look at the roll 20 sheet, I'm going to show you what you're looking at. Um, and just to let you know, this, this thing is not active, it is wounded. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, she got titties. Um, so yeah, you're looking at the, uh, the old witch that used to live in this house. Um, yeah, you, you, she smells very bad. You can smell how old she is. She apparently has lived for centuries. Good God. Disgusting. I thought the last guy looked rough. And, uh, she's standing there and you can tell that she's very badly wounded and she is also coughing up some blood. I'm going up to her, and all tact is gone for Dragomir. Did you see a man in a kilt? A kilt? <laughs> I've seen many in a kilt. Now is not the time for this. Here, when all of this happened, did they have a man in a kilt? Why do you rush, child? Because if we do not, he will get too far away for us to follow. What has happened has already happened. If and you are looking, from happening again. If you are looking for Pendragon, it is already too late. What do you mean? This dark presence has already gotten to him. They search for the artifact that you look for. Where are they? Where did they go? Is your mission to find Pendragon? Or is your mission to find the artifact? Our mission was to find an ugly ass witch huddled down in the basement. Mission accomplished. Now from here, the rest of our objective, or mine at least, is to save the damn world. So you're going to help us or not? You must answer my question first. <laughs> are you... <laughs> are answer you... me these riddles three. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> Riddle me this, jackass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is... Are you looking for Captain Pendragon, or are you looking for your artifact? Our mission both. is to recover the artifact, and my mission is to find him. So both. both. Thank you, Pinky. Very well. I will help you find what you are looking for, but I am bleeding very badly, and I could use a little bit of first aid. Pinky, that's that's you. You touch her. Uh, that's you. We saw you <clears throat> both fix that guy down there, so you know exactly what you're doing. Go for um, it, friend. Yeah, Miss. What do you What do you need? First aid, please. Right. Um, or medicine. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna reach into Stone, where Stone has the first aid, and like give her the first aid kit. Here you go. Oh, dearie, dearie, I. My. My God, give me that, and I start like Ugh. bandaging any wounds she has. <laughs> It's a failure, 42 versus 38. I'm not good at this. Can someone else please fucking help, for I'm God's sake? I'm not touching sake? her. 
Oh my god. Uh, real quick, I just want to say thank you so much, Mama. That is so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> this bit has gone too far, Hudson. This bit has gone too far. Thanks, Mama. <laughs> Bring a little VP in chat. Um, Way too far. What? <laughs> My granny really loves watching us. Yeah, yeah she's even yeah, been yeah. a member since 2013. She's really into Twitch. That's uh, <laughs> man, and you have you have a mama that knows about magic. The gat, your mama is cool as hell. Yeah, and she so says cool. you're such a great young man, Stonehaze. Oh, thank you, mama. Stonehaze <laughs> <laughs> really. He, <laughs> he certainly tries his best. Oh my god. Okay, so uh yeah, uh, I'm gonna... uh yeah, so that was a failed uh first aid. Uh it was a 90 versus 46 as the lady goes, "Ah, no, no. You are awful at this. Where is there anybody else? We're not combat medics. I'm a sniper. He's a fucking mechanic and he's a he cowboy. We Hello. don't <laughs> <laughs> we don't do medicine. We're trying to help as best we can, but... Can I look at uh, her wounds? Is she really hurting that bad keeper? Um, Is this a test? Sure, yeah. I mean, uh, I won't require anything for that. Um, she does have a lot of deep cuts um, from some sort of item that has badly wounded her. She has a very big gash on her neck. Oh. All right, all right. Uh, and I'll take a bandage and try to... Well, first, uh, we'll roll for first aid. Ugh, for a success of 35-44, I'm going to bandage around her neck. And after uh, a couple of minutes, about 20 minutes of repairing this hag, yeah. um, she gets to her feet... Thank you, dearie. Yeah. I will not forget your mercy for all three of you. Uh, come inside my humble home. I will, I will uh, fix us something to eat, and I will oh. show you the way. With all due respect, we do not We just time. ate. And as the hag turns around to head inside her place, she goes, Oh, no. Oh, I forgot. They burnt it to a crisp. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They did. Ma'am, please, we need to find whatever you're going to tell us to find. Fine. Over there, you see that lone tree. And right next to what used to be this small cottage, there is a lone tree on this grassy hill with no leaves. It has uh, a lot of branches on it. Um, it's almost like Grandmother Willow if she was nude, uh, meaning no leaves. Um, and it has a lot of bones attached to it, dangling from it. I see it. Um... Go over there and put your hand on the tree and it will take you to the place that you want most. Uh, Stone, after you. What the fuck? Can we just know where to go? It's. A... Do you want to give me a spot right. hidden roll or, um, yeah, just spot hidden roll and give you more information. Uh, okay, we'll take that crit. How about it? Okay. Um, Stone Haze, as the hag is talking, you do notice a box inside the uh, house. This house has been burnt to a crisp, but sitting here in this house, there is one box that is sitting there alone. It has burn marks all around it, but it seems to be uh, okay. All right, we're going to check it out. Uh, would we say this is a... A uh, Dorn chest? Is it just a wooden chest? 
one it's of those a, boxes it's a, that you keep under your bed with your, like your birth certificate and shit in it. It is a very large uh, box, a long box, if you would. It is made of wood. Okay. Uh, there's no. Uh, well, there would. Let's open it. Um, as you head over to this box, the hag says, "No, no, please don't touch that box." It is hexed. I must, I must lift it if if you wish to get inside. If you touch it, it will hurt you. Hurt me. All right. Well, then, uh, have at it. Do your thing, lady. And after a couple of seconds, she begins to whisper and mumble out of her mouth. She closes her eyes. And she opens them and says, Okay, Sonny, you can go ahead. Does it feel... Is there anything I can tell to see if something was lifted or if something was placed on? Do I get uh, that energy? Can I even tell? Um, as you reach down, uh, you're not really feeling anything. Um, as you touch the wood of the box, it feels like wood. If you say so, let's open it. And as you open this box, there are two items in this box. It is dusty. And these items are very old, but it doesn't seem like these items have not uh, seen the light of day for a while, but they haven't aged that much. Uh, you have an old wooden cutting axe, a very large wooden cutting axe, and a medieval loot that lays inside of this box. Well, what in the same hell are we supposed to do with this? I don't know, dearie. You're the one who walked over to it. Well, is this axe sturdy? Are you taking the wooden axe? Well, just kind of checking it out. I mean, it looks like an antique. Uh, yes, it is a very old axe that I've had for many of years. Huh. <laughs> Stone, why are we doing this? We should be leaving. We should be going. Mama. Break for a chat here. Um, uh, 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 uh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, what have we done? Oh no. Chat's kinda gone off the uh <laughs> off the deep end. Uh anyways, continue. Mama's ruined this campaign. What's going on, uh Tuckman, Bombastic Lighting, and Granola Clusters? Which is hey, two of you on the screen right now. But what's up, Tuck Man? Um, but yeah, are you are you yeah. wanting to take this axe? Are you keeping this axe? Are you throwing this axe away? Do I feel anything? Or is it just a wooden axe? It's just a wooden axe. Hmm. But even the blades would. We'll keep it here. <laughs> you gonna put it in this box? All right. Okay. Put your lock back on it. We don't need this. We just need to get a move on. Okay. Uh, once again, you can go to the tree and it will take you where you want. Come on. And I walk out and I say <clears throat> thank you for your assistance. Yes. And please, if you find a, a nice small cottage, please send it my way. Send it your way. We'll, we'll do. We will get the movers on it. We will let it know to head your way. So In meantime, find, pick up his little chicken legs and walk over to you. Find a find a shirt to put on. Thank you. All right. Take care now. All right. Awesome. Um, so you're all going over to this tree, correct? Correct. Yes. Awesome. So as you head over to this tree, it is a very old tree. 
centuries old, with no leaves but dangling from it like wind chimes or bones. Bones of animals and bones of humans. The wind picks up as you hear the chime of the bones making uh, music. I'm sorry, I'm just thinking of the bone! <laughs> bone! <laughs> I don't even know which anyway, references is at this Brooklyn point. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. But... All right. Okay. I keep thinking of the, the Monty Python skit. Where... Look at the bones, <laughs> man! <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going up the tree. And I'm going to take a deep breath and kind of hold my hand out, look at the others and say, would anyone else like to go first? It's just a fucking tree. Stone will put his hand on it. Power roll, please, Stone Haze. Uh, the tree's possessing me. I mean, there's a tree in Savannah that does 60 that. 60 versus 60 success. Did anybody else uh, put their hand on the tree? Not yet. No, I'm letting that Stone's the guinea pig. I was about to, but then Stone. As you hurts. see, Stone put his hand on the tree. Just like that, you look where he was, and he's gone. Sure. It's almost as though he's blinked out. Oh, fuck. Flashbacked out. Foretelled out. I'm sticking my hand on it. No, no, no. What? You just disappeared. <laughs> uh, Anushka, can I have a power roll, please? Failure, 6850. Noted. Uh, Pinky, did you put your hand on the... Uh not yet. I'm kind of like pacing back and forth. Like, what if they just disintegrated? What if they didn't actually teleport? What if they just disintegrated? Anushka, with that failed power roll, <laughs> you also blink out. Pinky, you're left there alone. I'm dead in the space time continuum right now. Yeah, Pinky's pacing back and forth. Like, he's not sure if he should actually do this because they just disappeared. They just disappeared. They just disappeared, you know? Like, should I do it? Probably not. Should I wait? I can wait. Maybe and he's like back. talking with his hands and accidentally hits the tree. Talking with my hands like, you wait. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll actually play that out. That's a good idea. Oh, God. Just <laughs> rubbing his forehead. <sighs> it's like, I, don't, I don't know what to do. And then, like, and then he places his hand on the tree. Power roll, please. <laughs> That's so good. You gotta, you gotta work it in there somehow. Hey, As uh, with that extreme success, good for you, the camera is spinning around as this is happening and finishes where Pinky was. And now all we have is silence as the camera looks at this lone tree with the wind still moving with a breeze you hear the music the chimes of the bones in this tree anushka you fall hard on your stomach in this grassy field you feel a, a shadow above you a presence you notice that your hair color is not your hair color and you feel like you are not in your attire that you once were. And your voice is not Russian, but it is English voice. As you look up and you hear, uh, Merwin, we need to keep moving. As the camera goes to blackout, and we're going to take a quick, real, real quick break on uh, Spot Hidden. So uh, we'll be right back. After these uh, few short messages uh, brought to you by uh, Mama and Swift Dog. So we'll be right back. And uh, we hope you're enjoying the show. We know Mama is. She's, she's uh, really kicking back that moonshine tonight. I got to go refill mm -hmm. on mine. So, uh, yeah, I hope everybody's uh, enjoying this. But, yeah, we'll be right back. So stay tuned. Welcome to Jim Bob's. We had...
and we are back welcome back to spot hidden where we are playing octung cthulhu and where the chat is alive for some reason tonight with mama kicking back moonshine and everybody's talking about magic the gathering here's our Thank team you, the agents of kp back together they have just all three laid their hands on a uh, weird old tree and has blinked them out of existence Anushka, you have woken up where you have fallen on this grassy plain and a dog appears. <laughs> That's my bobblehead that Matt had. <laughs> when um, he had a bobblehead, I had one too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did everybody have a, a good break before we jump back in? Anybody got any uh, questions they want to ask Matt? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, totally unprompted. Um, no, no. Okay, so I did ask... <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, the most obnoxious so laugh I've ever this, done. This, uh, this last... Okay, for those of you who are probably very, very unfamiliar with what's happening, we are in 1944 in this story. Um, our very first campaign, which, uh, happy one year to us, as of yeah. this the 13th. Um, we, uh, yeah, that's right. Um, mm -hmm. Our first campaign, sorry, I just completely blanked, there you go. was dark ages where we did play pulp characters um who included merwin brisius as well as daniel um and uh we were doing a lot of solving of mysteries back in uh a dark age the so 1000 actually with that being said the excuse me the new question is are we having like a skyrim like reading the elder scroll flashback where we're seeing the events happen and we're not actually as like like uh if let's say stone Hayes is seeing through the eyes of daniel is he controlling daniel or is he just kind of witness to how daniel uh what he's doing or uh do we have control as like stone has control over daniel's body while being in daniel's body there's your question take yep. it away honey that's a great question thank you matt um so stone Hayes and pinky you are not here you're not experiencing what Anushka is experiencing, but Anushka. You didn't power roll. But Anushka, uh, yes, that's correct. Uh, Stonehaze and Pinky both made successful power rolls when they touched this old tree. Anushka, however, failed her power roll. Anushka, you are not Anushka. Your name is Merwin Tash. You're in medieval uh, England. Close to medieval England, it's dark ages, in between dark ages and medieval England. But you know this character very well, Carly. Yes, um, I do. And as you wake and find yourself laying on this grassy field, you look above you and you do see a familiar face. Madeline, we need to keep moving. So I'm not Dragomir, I am fully Merwin right You're now. You're Merwin, yeah. Okay. Right, okay, yep, sorry. We need to get back to town. We need to warn them of what happened. Ah! And you what? look down and see the, the gashes in uh, Briseus's, uh chest and stomach. And you realize that you are missing a party member, uh, Daniel Smithson. And you will recall, Marowen, this is right after uh, the attack, the ambush that happened in the woods from the uh, small creature. Um, that attacked you and ambushed you. This Daniel, is right before we die. Or the, before Daniel dies. Yes. Well, no, this is after Daniel's right death. After, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. Right, right. Okay, let's go. Um, can you give me a track roll, please? As Dragomir? <laughs> Just give me as Anushka. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, you're doing it. Failure. I think it was the same either way. So, yeah. I don't think Marowyn can track very As well. you and uh, Bracius... Pull up her character sheet. Hold up. <laughs> uh, yes. Hey, you. You are finally awake. <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to get over the border. <laughs> yeah. um, Put that thief over there. As you are uh, walking down this trail in the woods, uh, you are also badly wounded, Marowyn. Um, you yeah. keep fading in and out as you and Briseis are stumbling along 
after a while you get out of this forest brush and you're and out in a uh, nice field in front of you is the town of Totbur you see it and the light of the day is gleaming down on it it seems to be crowded people everybody cheering from your return as you begin to walk in you are greeted by the Jarl of the town you see his son who you are friends with some say could be very friendly with you at times but then can you give me a spot hidden roll please did it as Marowind in this one um, the first roll that's been made in this in a long time and it was a 2655 hard success you notice a very large shadow cover the sun it almost seems like it's getting dark outside but it's not a cloud and it's about two in the afternoon and Brissis is still here Brissis is right next to you but he's looking up Brissis what is that it's Yig he's come for us oh fuck as you look up and see a large yellow dragon coming down coming towards you as it opens its jaws what do you do I run <laughs> I don't that, that's what Mirwin would do okay, give, can you give me a dodge roll yes oh god this is so weird failure <laughs> as you try to dodge out of the way you dodge and trip and roll you see the dragon pick up Briseis and you see Briseis trying to fight for his life as the dragon begins to squeeze killing Briseis you see the blood coming out of Briseis's mouth he spits and spats on the sword that he carries Excalibur as you know it as you see the life leave Briseis as the sword falls to the ground you see it disappear you see the dragon fix its gaze on you and open its large jaws as you see a bright light come from its throat as fire like a flamethrower leaves that mouth taking you you wake up in a bed this bed you're not used to but you are used to it because this is your bed this is your college dorm room bed why would we pull up the other old 20 you hear a door open and you hear bye babe <laughs> as your girlfriend leaves the apartment Damn. What do you do? I'll say, bye, like half asleep still. Do you get up or do anything? Yeah, I'll just get up, check my phone. See, you know. Can you give me a computer use, please? Yes, I can. Hold on, let me pull up the character sheet. God, okay. <laughs> I'm just clicking through all these campaigns. Hard success, 19 versus 50. For anyone who needs context, you probably pieced it together by now. <laughs> Second campaign, academia, modern day. Hudson's torturing me personally. <laughs> we were in college. And what was your character's name again? Rowan Kirby. Rowan Kirby. Rowan, you made a very good success on that computer use. You see um, text from Axton, your friend, saying, hey, you need to hurry. You up? Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you up? Hey, you need to hurry. Um, a lot of stuff's happened. Have you seen or heard from Alan? I'll just, I'll call him. You're going to call uh, Axton. Axton? Yeah. So you call Axton. And uh, Matt, I'm going to let you 
do a little improv here. Uh, what would Congrats, you say yeah. to uh, Rowan? Uh, still haven't heard from Alan. No, I just saw your text. Oh no, no, that was me asking the keeper. Oh. But uh, <laughs> is that where we're at in the story? Yeah, we we still haven't heard anything from Alan. Okay. Has he has he contacted you? Has he? Hi, by the way, Rowan. Hi. Um. Have you have you maybe seen him on camp? Is he is he around? No, I, I I've not seen him at all. I. Listen, of course, I'm still confused as well, but I we can't just leave him to his own devices. I mean, he's going to... He's got. He's dealing with the thought that he might have killed somebody. He did kill somebody, but... <sighs> Should we go check the cabin again? Whether or not he had control over it, that's something we need to find out. So, cabin... Uh, He's not on campus. That's the only place he could be. All right. I'll pick you up in 15 minutes. Okay. Then I'll hang up the phone. Can you give me a spot hidden roll or a listen roll, please, Anushka or uh, Rowan? <laughs> it says hard success, 2453. You hear the door close, your front door. You're in your room, but you hear the front door of your apartment close. I'm going to grab, um, we'll say that I keep like a baseball bat by the bed. Uh, <laughs> I'll just kind of like, or behind the bedroom door just for self-defense and I'll kind of go grab it and open the door and go look out in the hallway. You don't see anything. It's quiet, but you don't see anything. Nothing looks disturbed, but you definitely heard your door close. I'm going to go look out the peephole and see if it was Josie leaving later than I thought she would. When you go towards the door to look out the peephole, the door swings open abruptly, hitting against the wall. And on the opposite side of the door frame, on the wall in front of your door, is Alan. But Alan is no longer with you. It seems as though he's dead. Flayed, to be exact. He's been pinned up on the wall in a yellow pentagram circle with a dragon spray-painted all over him. And a note has been pinned to his chest. What does it say? It says, you're next. I've seen that one coming. As you black out again, you wake back up as Anushka Dragomir. Thank God. But you're what? in a, a dark void. A black void. There's nothing around you. You can't smell anything. You can't hear anything. But in front of you, you see three items. A sword, a triton, and a bow. And out of nowhere, you hear, Dearie, these three items are known as power relics. The sword is what you are in search of. The triton you have already found, but it has fallen into the hands of a dark entity. The bow is in the hands of a friend that in some cases should and shouldn't have it. Fuck you, Pinky! What? <laughs> 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 I knew that would snap yeah. him back in. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, let me adjust this cowboy hat real quick. What'd you just say, sir? <laughs> <laughs> what in tarnation did you just what? tell me? <laughs> you see the 
old hag, the old witch, appear. But she's back in who her original form, her younger form. Perhaps when she was younger, in the days before the Dark Ages, the medieval period, before the Roman age, long before that, Deary, you must understand, these three weapons, if found, can cause mass destruction and chaos on this world. Right. Please. So what am I supposed to do about it? Find the other? Well... You've found two of them. One of them has been lost. The best thing to do is either destroy one of them or get all three of them back. Where is Excalibur? Excalibur is with its keeper. You will find it soon. Is that not what that sword is? Is it a different one? I'm sorry? That sword there, is that... I know it's not physically it, but that is the same sword, yes? Yes. This is what Excalibur looks like. This is not the actual Excalibur. That is not the actual bow of Attila. Excalibur dwells in a lake. The Lake of Camelot. You will be there shortly with your friends. They have already arrived. They are waiting on you. The lake holds many dangers and many things. You must be careful. But Excalibur is there. But do not assume that Excalibur is yours or anybody else's but the blood of Pendragon. It only answers to that blood and no one else, as I found out quite well. All right. We will get it to him. Good. Are you ready? Good. Are you ready to go back? I am. And uh, the old hag snaps her fingers, and just like that, almost like a blink, with your eyes, you wake up. You're sitting crisscross applesauce, on a, a nice grassy field. And as you open your eyes, the light from the sun. It's just beating down on your face, and it's very bright, but as your eyes adjust, you notice that it's no longer nighttime, that you've been out for uh, a couple of hours. It's about the next day from where you last left off. And you notice in front of you this. If you look on roll 20, I'm going to give you a little uh, peep at what you're looking at. Oh, hail. It's a castle. We're looking it's at a, a castle, castle. From across the lake. And it's really <laughs> old and falling apart. But what's it called? Camelot. 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 Camelot in ruins. <laughs> As you uh, awake, Anushka, you look around and Pinky and Stonehaze are standing next to you. Well, it took your damn time. Sorry, I was having a weird trip through... I uh, don't even know how to explain it. Well, we've all had a weird trip every now and then. Hey, keep her up with a question. Did you say uh, keeper or pinky? Yeah, keeper. Keeper, keeper me? Got yeah, I, I got the answer, hopefully. Well, so back, back, you know, months ago when I first acquired this, this bow, mm -hmm. uh, I had some time to, like, do some studying on it. Uh... Can it be destroyed? 
Uh, yes, it can be destroyed. Okay. Cool. In the fires of Mount Doom. <laughs> yeah, from whence it came, it can be destroyed. Uh, okay. No, it can be destroyed. Um, but you don't know how. But, like, it's made of wood, and I would assume I've tried, like, you know, to burn part of the wood or something, like, maybe carve a little chip off or something. Um, yeah, so you've tried carving it just with a knife? Yeah, so, you know, I've done, like, little, you know, just a, just a little bitty, just like a carve. Like yeah, I would, yeah when, so you, when you tried carving stuff like that, um, weirdly enough, it wouldn't even make a dent in it. It wouldn't make huh. an indention or anything. When you tried okay. to burn it, it was almost like it was fireproof. Okay. All right. Interesting. I just want to know, like, I want to know what Pinky would be able to discover about its durability. You know? Yeah. And then I also would do, like, tests. Like, if I shot it, would it do, do like, a 90 degree? Would it do a 180? You know, stuff like that. I want to get to know this weapon since I didn't have the time. Yeah, you got to know it. Um, you know that wherever uh, your eye is fixed straight ahead, it shoots straight ahead. Cool. Wherever you go, I won't be far too um, But yeah, so you are all facing this uh, ruins. Um, Anushka, you will know it to be Camelot. Uh, Stone Haze Pinky, you might not know that it is Camelot, but you do see a castle um, in the middle of a lake, a beautiful lake. Um, beautiful surroundings around you. See, is this where they're at? No, this is where the sword is. It's in this lake. Well, bring the scuba gear. Are we drawing straws? Who's diving in? I don't... It won't listen to anyone but him. I don't know if it's even worth us trying to get before we get him back, but I also don't know if we can get him back without it. It will only answer the blood of the pin dragon. Yes, and they know this. That's why he's here. Here we go. Pin dragon's here somewhere. <clears throat> he would have to be. Come on. Stone, what? What, what are you doing? What is that? And it gotta be a pen dragon. I Stone it. Haze, can you give me a power roll, please? Please, God. Please. I need this to work. Oh. <sighs> Stone, what are you doing? I don't need to be no pen dragon. No, I, I, As I you are you're holding doing. out your hand, you feel... Something you haven't felt in a while. And the next thing you hear is... <laughs> I knew that was coming! <laughs> Stone! God. Uh, uh, uh. All right, it's probably just a pen dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why does it smell like rotten flesh? What? You just sip on a, uh, sip on a goose Why or something? Why does it smell that bad? Oh, God! Someone stepped on a duck, I think. Oh, or... God. That must be one of them English mushrooms. Oh. Huh. All right. How do we get to the castle? There's a the place we, get... we live in. All right. Do we get... What are we doing first? Are we getting him or are we getting the sword? Well, the sword's at the bottom of the lake. Right. I'm not swimming. I the best swimmer. Can't swim. Uh, clearly, it's not coming to us. And uh, the only th other thing I see is a castle. Is that right, Keeper? Oh, that is correct. Uh, unless you want to give me a spot hidden roll, I can give you more information. I sure do. I'm pretty sure you don't need to breathe anymore. So I'm looking for a rowboat. Fuck. Uh, I failed on both my with the bonus and regular. Uh, I didn't even try, but it doesn't oh, matter. Oh, shit. Okay, Pinky. All right. <laughs> Pinky, I with that... Uh, Robo, but with I that, found God. <laughs> with that crit success, um, you do see a rowboat. It's all the way on the other side of the bank. Which means they're there. In the middle of the island. Right next to that castle. Or that the castle on like top of the island. 
But you and, also notice, because I'm going to give you some more information with that crit success. It was a one. It was so a crit kind. one, you know? You're such a kind and generous and benevolent keeper. The breeze, <laughs> the breeze outside, it, it's picked up. And you feel the breeze rustling in your air. It's a nice 67 degrees out. It's not warm. It's not too cold. It feels amazing out there. Just a light jacket. Right. And it's almost like meditating weather. But you notice that the lake is absolutely still. There's no current. You don't see the water moving with the breeze. There's nothing. Okay, so... I'll uh, I'll go up to the water, and then dip my foot in the water. As you go up to the water, I'm not going to require a roll for this. As you walk on the water, Jesus, <laughs> guys, look, look. Pinky um, is actually Jesus Christ. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. I didn't think you had it in you, Pinky, but uh... <laughs> no, uh, Pinky. Uh, oh, you notice that your foot does not go through the water. It is on top of the water. Okay, so that's weird. It's like it's solid, and I I reach down and like like you know bang against it like you. God, would... Pinky, please be careful. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> I'm not about to let him have all the fucking fun now. It, Come on. It feels like you're standing on uh, Jello. Guys, it's like Jello. What's this Jello? <laughs> um, it's Jello? You mean like what is gelatin? G- gelatin? Yeah, I know gelatin, but it's gel- Jello. Yeah, brand new invention. Weird. Stone Haze, you're trying this? Yeah. Um, as you step onto the water, uh, it's like a hard gelatin surface. Well, this ain't right, but you I kind of like through, it. don't through, but it's, you know, wiggly with your movement, but you're able to oh, walk God. on top of it. Oh, Hi, guys, let's go! <laughs> I have to take a step, and I'm guessing it's the same thing. You don't have to describe it again. And it's the same thing, as yeah. you're all three able to step onto this lake. All right. Let's go. I guess we are going to fucking Camelot. As you walk down the lake after a while, about 15 minutes later, this is a big lake, you do approach the inland of the island, the coast uh, of the island, and you step back onto dry land. Uh, The only part that is wet is the uh, bottom of your soles, you know, the soles of your feet, or the soles of your shoes. That is incredible. Pinky's going mad. Crazy. I don't like to think about it too much. This is not, this is not abide by the laws of nature, so. I apologize, Lord. Please forgive me. But it's pretty cool, I'll admit. And you hear, it's okay. <laughs> it's chill. God? <laughs> All right, let's get to this castle. Okay. So as you begin to walk uh, towards the I old... I have my gun ready. Okay. As you uh, begin to uh, walk shotgun. to the old fortress, do you go in or are you just staying outside of the wall? Well, describe it to us. Is it uh, still a pretty fortified wall? Can't see over it? Um, from the wall on the roll 20 sheet, if we look at the roll 20, um, so you have... Uh, a lot of the ruins right here, you know, uh, the roof is not really there, but you do have a good bit of the wall. If you head uh, to the left side of it, um, oh, cool, you can zoom in. Um, if you head to the left side of it through those trees, uh, you'll get around and find a small little moat and a drawbridge. Small little. Uh, if you turn to the right, you won't have to go through woods and you'll come around to the same part where there's a moat and drawbridge. I feel like we should take the stealthy approach here. How high up is the wall uh, right in front of me on the on the right side, which seems to be a little bit smaller with our reference? 
Um, if you're talking about right, so if you see there is kind of a dock, but in our purposes is a small canoe, um, there would be, uh, it'd probably be about one story up that little little hill right there next to that um, cylinder thing. palisade. Um, but if you go around to the right or left, it's going to be about a two-story um, climb. He's done a he's done a floor before. Okay, so you're going to try to go up right in front of you. Uh, if you'll give me a jump or a climb. Stun, what are you doing? Hang on. <clears throat> he's doing his thing. Let him do his thing. All right, all right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> 1138, hard success. Awesome. So you're able to climb up uh, or jump up. That's a fucking leap of kingdoms right there. You, you <laughs> leap up. Uh, Stonehaze, I do have to ask, what are you wearing right now? Uh, so. uh, <laughs> That's a little spicy, Hudson. Uh, so he used to rock the, you know, the pants with the <laughs> khakis. Um, so the, you know, the kind of beige uh kind of standard just fatigue like uh khaki colored pants with the matching uh top with the sleeves rolled up but of course that unfortunately can't happen so now uh since the incident he has learned to don a uh, leather trench coat of sorts with a uh hood kind of sewn in uh, to cover the rest of his skin on his face and gloves of course. cool just making sure so you, <laughs> you know, take, he knows. Didn't, have to, didn't want to take points away from you, but I had to make sure. Uh, so as you make this very creature-like jump on top of this old ruined fortress, uh, you look down. There is no roof, so you're able to see what's left. Anushka and Pinky, what what are you doing? Um, a stone. A stone. Unmute your mic. There you yeah, go. yeah, yeah. So, uh, what do you see? Well, before I yell back, what do I see? Um, if you give me a spot hidden roll, I can give you more information. I can do that. I have a very sleepy I'm gonna push it for uh, not push it, but I throw that bonus in for twenty six fifty nine success. Awesome. So as you look into the old fortress. The fortress looks back. Yes, yes the fortress looks back. <laughs> with big dark eyes. No, um, you see no second floor. It's been completely crushed in. Um, but you notice the, the hall, the great hall, is still there. You see a tattered, uh, a tattered rug, a red rug, that leads to a throne. And next to this broken stone throne is a smaller throne to the right and the left of it. Uh, in the middle of this great hall is a large uh, circular table cut in half. As in it's been cut in half? Yes, it's been cut in half. It's broken and in two going into each other. But no, no one's, uh, there's no movement, there's no, no human. There's no other life but you on this wall and Anushka and Pinky outside the fortress. Uh, shit's fucked. What? Is there an entrance there? Should we come up too? Do I see an entrance? Yes, you do see right across from you on the other side is the Moat and Bailey drawbridge. Um, you will notice that the drawbridge is down, so if Anushka and Pinky would like to travel on the right side or left side, they will make their way to the drawbridge and can enter from there. Okay, I'll give them a point in that direction and keep investigating. In the meantime. Okay. I thought I was going to be able to use my rope. All right. Would you like to climb up? I can climb up there and see. No, 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 no. It's much easier to walk. There's no point in us doing that. All right. I'll head over with Pinky then, I guess. Unless Pinky is opposed. Yeah, I don't like it when people follow me, so you got to go the other way around. All right, and I just start climbing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> 
If you insist. <laughs> How we doing, Keeper? So as Anushka and Pinky begin to make their way around the fortress, they enter through the drawbridge. You hear the creaking noise of the old wood. This wood has been there for centuries. You hear it as you walk across. The chain rattles, very large, heavy metal chains that hold this. As you enter this old, great hall, you notice the tattered red long rug that stretches across the room. You notice the large throne at the end of the room. Next to it, you have smaller thrones to the right and left of it. And in front, you have a large circular table cut in half. You see stone haze above you on the wall, the palisade, this old room. Do you make it down? Do you need some help? Checking it out. Hmm. Alright, if there's nothing up here, after one more look around, uh, we'll jump down and head... Stone will head towards the thrones. Awesome. As you jump down and begin to head towards the the throne, give me a spot hidden roll. 4159 success. You see a very nice, large, ancient throne. You see two smaller thrones next to it. But with that spot hidden, you do notice something else. There are a large window, or what used to be a nice window, behind the throne with, um, what do you call that nice uh, glass that you see like in uh, churches? Ooh. or Stained uh, glass? Is it stained glass? Stained yeah. glass. What used yeah, to be yeah. a stained glass behind it, the stained glass has been broken and now it's just a large hole in the wall you see a shadow that is emerging out of the lake yes. what is it Stonehaze would oh, that shit. success you do see a shadow but you are inside the fortress so you're not seeing all of it but it does seem to be some sort of slithering stone Buddy, he's, uh, over he's gonna jog back out into the middle of the castle, I suppose, wherever he can look up from where he'd come from. As you look up, what you see emerge from the lake, you hear a large noise, a large rumble, a large amount of water being brushed. But you feel it in your heart. Below you lies the old weapon that you used to wield. Because now above you is the keeper of the Lake of Camelot. You may know this as the legend, the Loch Ness Monster. But above you is a very large uh, dragon sort of dinosaur looking creature as it looks like it's about to attack you. And that is where we're going to end tonight's dare. episode of Spot Hidden, <laughs> of Octum Cthulhu. So, we will That's pick a... up back in the action next week. I hope you that we... Can't, <laughs> you can't throw Nessie at me and then end it. <laughs> I've thrown a lot of stuff at you. Uh, that shit tonight, ain't Nessie, so. though. <laughs> yeah. It's Nessie. It's not. <laughs> Nessie. It's a plesiosaur. Um, Plesiosaur. Nice. All right. Oh, man. So I hope I don't burped into the mic earlier. Sorry if you guys heard that. <laughs> no, I can go ahead and tell you it's not Yig. It's not Yig. It's not hmm. Yig. It's the equivalent of the Kraken for this lake. It's fine. Everything's fine. Well, what are you thinking, Trevor? I don't know. Just thinking about about battling the Loch Ness Monster and how next game is going to go. Just open up straight into battle, you know? Yes, I, I can assure you next game will have battle.
plus uh, more uh, role playing, plus more battle, and uh, more resolve. So yes, uh, I think it's going to tie up a lot of loose ends. Hopefully, um, that have been uh, you know been questioned for the last three campaigns. You know, um, so yeah, uh, you know I hope everybody's enjoyed um, Octung. Um, I'm. We're not closing it out just yet. We have a couple more episodes for Octung, but we are getting closer to the end. So, but yeah, uh, I hope y'all had fun tonight. Does anybody have anything they want to shout out? Uh, well, I um have been working on uh, another because I never finish one shots. I just keep moving on. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I've been working on all of them, but inspiration finally be. struck for the uh, next one. And as I get better at this, the uh, product ends up coming out better uh, sooner, meaning I don't have to do it multiple times over. Um, and the next one, we are looking at a working title of Day of Red, uh, still placed in a post-apocalyptic scenario. So um, I know we're gonna be talking about that as a team, about when that'll happen, but uh, keep your eyes peeled for that as well as video games. Awesome, yeah. Hopefully, we might can stream some video games this week. I have oh, Dead yeah. by Daylight now. Someone please play that game with me, <laughs> please, God. <laughs> Dead Island um, Two. Dead Island yes. Two, yeah, that, that exists. <laughs> yes, exactly <Okay>. that one. <laughs> Matt has a new PC now, so I do. You may have noticed some differences if you've watched this before. Yeah, you actually so, look fantastic. That's in wonderful. Zoom, I do. In Twitch, I may. Uh... Oh, thank you, friends. Uh... No, on Twitch, you look great, also. I mean, uh... oh, thank you, thank you. You don't look like Orange Man anymore, so. It's true. Orange Man. I like the warm color. Anyway, to... never mind. I was about to make a joke. Trevor. Anyway. Trevor is now Red Man. Red Man, Blue Man. Red Man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can. <laughs> <laughs> the color, though. No, no, it's fine. No, I love it. It's perfect. Change it. I am blurry, man. All right, but uh, does anybody help else like have anything they want to shout out real quick before we close out? Uh, oh, follow blue. me on Instagram Purple. at huddy.hubs. Oh, um, yep. that's the one. Yep, that's the one. Yeah, follow Carly yeah. at huddy.hubs. You can also follow me at huddy.hubs yep. on Instagram. Follow Elliot at huddy.hubs. And yep. Trevor got a haircut. I'm the blue man group. <laughs> 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 that's <was> pretty good <laughs> oh, <laughs> alright so we're going to close out the stream thanks everybody for watching we hope you enjoyed we will be back this coming Sunday um, and if we do um, do a stream this week for gaming we'll let you know pretty soon so just stay tuned and we can't wait to see you on the next episode of Octum Cthulhu until then we shall see you anon and stay spoopy alright Thank <laughs> you.